until now we have devoted around three to four lectures on the study of current transforms transformers only now there are only very you know small topics which are i think left uncovered in current transformers and i believe this will be the last lecture on the current transformer topic now let us see what are those topics first one is the flux summing current transformer now what is that for systems in which the voltage levels are though that not much high that is the insulation requirement between the various conductors of various phases is not that high so that we can club the conductors of all phases phase a b c in a let us say in a cable only okay now what will happen if i take a ct core around this cable this is the ct core and now i wound the secondary of this ct on this core and take output terminals so this relay or burden what it will see what will be the picture seen by this now this kind of ct the toroidal form is usually called flux summing ct now why this name for this kind of ct now you see that this current in phase a will be i a current in phase b will be i b and current in phase c will be i c okay so the flux produced by the current a in the ct will be proportional to i a similarly the flux produced by i b in this ct core will be proportional to i b similarly for i c now the resultant flux the total flux in the ct core will be proportional to the phasor sum of ia plus ib plus ic so you see that this is nothing but equal to 3 times of ia 0 so this quantity is usually called residual current we will see this terminology many times during the study of power system protection we will also face the term called residual voltage also which is nothing but the similar concept in terms of voltage is only so you see that the flux in the ct core is proportional to the residual current or the residual flux it is there okay so what the ct is doing it is summing the flux in the form of phasor i am not assuming any kind of saturation i am assuming that uh, i can represent the fluxes in sinusoidal form or in the phasor form okay so this thing is holding i am assuming this scenario so you can see that this ct is summing all the fluxes created by all the phases and giving me the resultant which is proportional to the sum of all the fluxes so that's why it is called flux summation ct now let us say that this cable is having a sheath over it some metallic sheath is there over the cable okay now this metallic sheath will be having some current either during the fault or some due to some other scenario and this current might be flowing in the opposite direction okay now on the similar principles of induction this current will be similar to this 3i0 only okay so the resultant flux in this ct now what will happen it will get cancelled out this 3i0 because of the phase conductors in this direction and this 3i0 because of the sheath current in this direction which will get cancelled out so how to solve such kind of problem what we will do we will 
टेक ए शीथ अर्दिंग और ग्राउंडिंग कंडक्टर ओके एंड वी विल पास दिस ग्राउंडिंग कंडक्टर शीथ ग्राउंडिंग कंडक्टर थ्रू द कोर ऑफ द सिटी ओके सो दिस कंडक्टर ग्राउंडिंग कंडक्टर विल पास थ्रू द कोर सो नाउ वट विल हैपन वन वन फाइनल करंट बिकॉज ऑफ द कंडक्टर करंट अदर करंट बिकॉज ऑफ द शीत करंट एंड अदर करंट बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्राउंडिंग कंडक्टर सो द रिजल्टेंट फ्लक्स विल बी प्रोपोर्शनल टू ओनली थ्री आई ए जीरो सो इन दिस वे अगेन दिस सिटी विल फंक्शन सो यूजली दिस काइंड ऑफ सिटीज आर प्लेस्ड वेर एवर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टडी द रेजुअल करंट फिनोमिना और वी वॉन्ट टू मेक आवर रिलेज फंक्शनेबल बेस्ड ऑन दिस इनपुट ओके नाउ सिंस फॉर हाई वोल्टेज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट ऑल दी फेज कंडक्टर्स इन वन केबल विद इन अ गिवन साइज लिमिट सो इट इज यूजली पॉसिबल अप टू यू नो एम बी वोल्टेज इज ओके नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वी विल स्टडी सम ऑफ द यू नो मॉडर्न फिनोमिना और मॉडर्न टॉपिक्स इन द करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर टेक्नोलॉजी now during the study of current transformers in these three four lectures we might have seen that uh, the normal current transformers are having lot of problems in terms of ratio error and phase error and uh, they have problems because of saturation effect also so somehow if we devise something that uh, the saturation part is gone away is taken away uh, and the results are given out faithfully or the linearly according to the variation of the primary current then it will be very helpful to us in design of various instruments or the relays so what we can do so that the output is linearly all over the region and there is no saturation so there is one solution to it for which we call them linear couplers similarly some rogowski coils are also functioning on the same principle so now what is that principle linear couplers and similarly we are having rogowski coil now what do we mean by these we have seen that this saturation phenomena is because of the iron core which we have used so if i somehow remove this iron core and put a medium which is having linear behavior all over the region of the you know h or the current so we will have the response which is linear everywhere so what i will do let us say this is the primary conductor and over it this is the magnetic core now instead of this magnetic core if i use some material which is not magnetic in nature or let us say i don't use any material of magnetic nature i just have this air only and let us say this is made up of some plastic only and over it i wound the secondary okay so you see that for air the permeability is always a constant okay so there is no phenomenon of saturation in air medium now the issue which we will face because of using air is that the magnetic coupling which is there it will not be that much strong as compared to magnetic cores so because of this the current output on these terminals the capability of current output will be very reduced however we will see that the voltage induced across these terminals are proportional or this voltage is proportional to the rate of change of current in the primary okay now and this rate of change is will be linear because of a fixed permeability okay there is no saturation phenomena so this kind of linear couplers will work as you know kind of 
करंट टू वोल्टेज सोर्स कन्वर्टर्स दिस वोल्टेज विल बी लीनियरली प्रोपोर्शनल टू रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ द प्राइमरी करंट नाउ वॉट वी विल डू टू रीड द करंट डायरेक्टली वी विल पुट एन इंटीग्रेटर विच विल इंटीग्रेट the output of this coil so that thing will be proportional to it okay so this thing this integrated value will be fed to the relay now because of this what will happen i will have to use some integrator okay that integrator will require some dc supply at least to function so Uh, this thing will create additional requirement of dc supply okay and because of some other issues like noise might be there because of using of this integrator since the signal levels are not that much strong so noise may be introduced because of this these devices are usually not that much common in the power system okay now there is another technology which is being developed and have been tested at some places and uh, it is depending upon the polarization or the uh, pol effect on the polarization of the light because of the magnetic field created by the current flowing in a conductor so how does it work what we do let us say this is the primary conductor it is carrying some current now this current is going to create some magnetic field and we will study during this study of our amft or the electromagnetic field theory subject that the magnetic field created by this current will have a property to shift the polarization of the plane of the polarization of a, a light signal or the electromagnetic wave okay so what i will do i will put a block around this and in that block i will have optical fibers wound to number of turns which will give us the appropriate shift in angle for direct reading through some device okay so from here what i will do i will input a light signal which is already polarized to some given angle okay polarized light i will input now this current is going to create a magnetic field so this magnetic field is going to shift the polarization angle or the plane of the polarization and this shifting will be proportional to the instantaneous value of the current in this conductor so what i will do i will take this signal amplify it and compare the phase angle of the polarization of the input and the output and based on this difference i can easily find the instantaneous value of the current in the primary now you see there is no magnetic material which have been involved in this only optical fiber is there so there is no issue of saturation or nonlinearity so the signal or the response of the system is purely linear okay so all the issues which were there because of the saturation or the non linearity in normal current transformers are gone but again there is the issue of the separate supply for the amplification okay similarly these signal levels are low that's why we need amplification so these some these are the some problems which add on to the cost also so if we see that this thing is going to save some cost in terms of let us say insulation level and all those things because uh, this is not going to require that much insulation also if the voltage level is not that much high okay and uh, it is not going to have any magnetic material only uh, also it is just a optical fiber block so 
if uh, we see that the cost of the installation is lesser as compared to the normal current transformer then we will find that the advantages of this technology are more than the disadvantages of this technology as compared to conventional current transformers so the new transformers which will come into picture let us say after one or two one and a half decades i believe will work on some of these technologies okay similarly uh, in the upcoming lectures we will study about voltage transformers also so i believe now i have covered the topic of current transformers in great detail and uh, it will clear the concept of uh, students as well as practicing uh, practicing uh, these engineers who are already working in field and they want to brush their concepts so if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you